Do not buy a Goyard. Well, you can buy a Goyard, but don't buy it from Bell Harbor, Miami. So this is my story, my review of me purchasing my go my first Goyard piece from Bell Harbor. We hopped on a flight. My son picked us up. <laughs> Come go with us. Oh, you know what? Yes, sir. Say hi to everybody. Let's go. Come get my luggage. What's your problem? Come on. <laughs> okay. Now, oh, baby, remember, mommy's in the car. We don't speed with mommy in the car. Guys, we are off today to Ball Harbor. But before we go to Ball Harbor, we are going to stop for brunch. So we're going to go for brunch. Then we're going to go to Ball Harbor. And I'm trying to decide between a Goyard bag or a Gucci bag. I'll show you guys both. It was made for mine. So come go with us to lunch. Delta brunch. Oh, it's So we're passing Van Clef. Not today, Van Clef. Not today. Or maybe. <laughs> so here we are. So let's see what's up. Well, it's a line apparently. It's a line. So we're on the line. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's like crazy to stand on a line to spend the kind of money. However, I also understand too the boosters, you know, people who run in and grab all that stuff. So, probably a security measure. They don't let in too many people. That's what that's my reasoning. We stand on there. This is the, the lettuce, limited edition with the French bulldog. It's more of like a travel. Bag, so, uh, yeah. But you can use it every day. Yeah. The, the green, I think, It's like an unstructured beach bag. It's or a, a, a bag for like a, a boat day or something like that. Yeah. This is definitely a travel silhouette where you stick on top of your. But I think the green is more, you know, symbolic of going hard. The green walls, green shopping bags. Oh. Green is always the hardest color to get anything in. True. I heard that too in Madrid. They told yeah. me that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let me look at the green again. Then. It actually kind of is a symbol to our tradition. Oh, really? French bulldog. French bulldog. Thank you. Yeah, it was meant to be. <laughs> it's always meant to 
guys my my um review of goyard in ball ball harbor never go to ball harbor to buy a goyard they don't offer you water they don't offer you nothing they hardly say good afternoon like it's a line and even with the the, the reason why there is a line because they only allow one person or two customers in at a time can you imagine and they have two sales associates so that's just because they're lazy that's just plain old lazy because it's no reason that, you know, it's just no reason because you have enough sales associates. Um, I asked for some water and they gave me some water in a Dixie cup. So, ghetto. Um, the essay that served me, he almost didn't want me to get the bag. I don't know why. And I said to myself, why are you acting like he don't want me to get a bag? But he really didn't want me to. He, it was like, he really didn't want me to. He was not. He wasn't helpful at all. He just told me all the reasons, basically, why I really shouldn't. Um, I buy. We buy a lot of luxury brands, and every time I go into Fendi, Gucci, Louis, you name it, um, they are kind. They are nice. Um, Chanel. Do you want to? Even if it's just a bottle of water, you know. Do you want some water? Do you want some champagne? Do you want some wine? And they're nice and they're helpful, but. The salespeople in Goyard, at least the, the gentleman that I had, he was atrocious. I would never go to Ball Harbor again to buy a Goyard. Um, he just ruined the experience for me. He just ruined the experience for me. I don't even know if I'll buy another Goyard. And I know some people might be like, oh, well, why did you buy it? You should have just left it. It's because he doesn't own the company. He's a sales associate. He's He clocks in and he clocks out. He's not the lead designer. He is at the bottom of the totem pole. So why should I lose out on a nice designer piece because of him? Because he thinks that I'm not worthy enough to have it or I shouldn't have it. He's not going to have that control over me. No, you're not. I'm going to get the piece regardless, sir. <laughs> and you're going to watch me walk out of here with it. So definitely, definitely all the reviews um, are true. Um, that they say the sales associates are crap. They are crap. They are crap. They are crap. Um, at least the one in Ball Harbor. Let me not say they were crap, but the one in Ball Harbor, he was definitely crap. And so therefore, do not get a go yard from Ball Harbor.